Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Thank you for joining us. It is our last vlog of 2019 and we really can't thank you enough for helping to make it so successful this year. Um, we had no idea when we started this how it was gonna go and if it would be well received and it's just awesome to watch it grow. So thank you so much. One of our plans for this last vlog of the year was to do a look back and the tone of things at South Metro changed quite a bit and that's because our former assistant chief of operations Troy Jackson uh, passed away from job related cancer at the beginning of last week. So it's definitely been a time of mourning and a really difficult emotional time for everybody here at South Metro. So it doesn't really feel right to go back and show you the year in perspective and um, you know try and make something seem really happy when honestly it's just not a really great time right now at South Metro. So we appreciate your patience there, um, but we would like to show you more about Chief Jackson and what happened over the past week while we were planning for and then having his line of duty death funeral. So we will link back to an unscripted episode where Chief Jackson was uh, amazing and came, came forward and, and for the first time told his story publicly about his cancer and what we were doing at South Metro to help prevent further cancer deaths. And that's a really big part of Chief Jackson's legacy, not only as a great leader, but um, really doing things in a positive way to try and prevent other firefighters from having to go through what he and his family went through. And being at the line of duty death funeral on Friday, it was amazing to see not only the lives that Chief Jackson touched and the media um, that he connected with, but his whole family. They are an incredible family, extremely strong through all of this. So um, that was my first line of duty death funeral ever to be involved in. And it was just a an outpouring of support for them and for our South Metro family. The best way for us to tell the story and to describe what happened during last week is really just to show you. So we will let the moment speak for themselves. So it was just a few short years ago, I was on this stage. Many of you were in the audience. We were gathered here to remember engineer Mike Freeman, who had lost his battle with job-related cancer. Trey shared a lot in common with Free, as he was known by his friends and co-workers. Emergency services was Troy's calling. He had a servant's heart and a teachable spirit. He always made time for you, and, he, and you knew that he cared for you. He spoke candidly and out of love. He made everyone around him better. He believed every day in the firehouse was a good day and a blessing. And because of his faith, he knew death was not the end, but just the beginning. During Engineer Freeman's service, Troy was standing next to me on this stage. At the time, he had twice beaten job-related cancer and was recovering from a recent surgery after cancer had returned for a third time. Troy always knew the rare form of cancer he contracted while on the job was terminal. I watched with profound respect as Chief Jackson presented Free's helmet to his precious daughter, Amy. I was amazed at how much compassion, composure, and courage that Troy showed especially knowing that someday someone would be handing Troy's own helmet to his family. As I stand here on this stage today, I am certain Troy Jackson is the most courageous person I have ever known. If you ever sat with Chief Jackson long enough, you've heard him reference the importance of people. His guidance for the organization has been extraordinary, always putting others first and often talking about how relationships and people were the most important thing in leadership and in life. Standing up here again is so much more difficult because I don't have Troy to lean on to encourage and reassure me to be here just with just the right look, the right words, his perfect Troy timing to provide the Troy Jackson security net. I know for so many of my brothers and sisters here today, that's what Troy meant to you as well. Troy was so very proud of South Metro. He loved watching our men and women taking care of the individuals in our community like they were their own family. Troy laid so many bricks in our South Metro Foundation. Our fitness and wellness program is one of those bricks. 
South Metro is known nationally as a leader in the fire service when it comes to fitness and wellness. And we would not have such a program at South Metro if it weren't for Chief Jackson's commitment, his determination, and his support. Troy's concern for the safety, health, and welfare of our men and women was unparalleled. Everything he did was to make the job safer and better for all of us, including his efforts to reduce the risk of cancer at South Metro and in the fire service. For more than six years, while slowly dying from the ravages of job-related cancer, Troy was tireless in his devotion to making sure no one else would have to go through what he had gone through. This was legacy leadership. Attention all personnel is with deep regret that may now announce his South Metro Fire Rescue Assistant Chief Troy Jackson has answered his final alarm. This is not from a single fire, but from exposures from countless fires over the course of his career. Assistant Chief Troy Jackson, you have answered your final alarm. Brother, you will be missed. We will forever. We will never forget the sacrifice you have made as your legacy will live on in each of us and all that we do. Godspeed and rest in peace, Troy. We have from here. Back on is clear. It's 1256.
Just hours after the funeral for Chief Jackson, as well as the procession and the reception afterwards, we had a huge fire shortly after one o'clock in the morning on Saturday. So this happened in the 8400 block of South Reed Street in unincorporated Jefferson County. And the initial reports were pretty insane to be hearing on the radio. There were people trapped inside this apartment building, as well as people jumping from their apartments to get away, away from the fire and to escape, and that there were cars nearby also catching on fire. Luckily, Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, they were there first on scene and were helping people get out of their apartment units when the fire was uh, really taking over the whole building. So when our crews arrived on scene, they found the fire uh, completely engulfing the building as well as the stairwell. So it made it very difficult for people uh, to, to get out of their units. So our firefighters immediately took two and a half inch hose line and started spraying it on the fire. Uh, they were also making sure to use a technique called VEIS, which stands for Vent Enter Isolate Search. So that means they are taking ladders from the outside of the structure and going inside to continue those search efforts. So amazingly, uh, only nine people were treated for minor injuries or were checked out for smoke inhalation and two of those people were transported to the hospital. One of those is a South Metro firefighter who went to the hospital with a minor injury. Um, but amazingly, everybody got out okay and just a few minor injuries, but uh, a pretty chaotic scene to be coming into for our firefighters. The cause of this fire is under investigation, but the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office did make an arrest and this person is being charged with arson as well as attempted murder charges. Yeah, yeah, and the second floor. Entire first floor and second floor on fire. The porch is wooden and we're going to have to jump from the window. We're jumping now. You're jumping? Yeah, we're jumping. How many people are jumping? Hey. Hey, get away, please. Hey, is anyone on uh, up there still? I don't know if cut yeah, out. the building is in gold. I don't know if I cut out on the top. Who's 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 in there still? I don't know if I cut out. Hey, get. Hey, is anyone still in there? I'm throwing rocks. Hey, come on, try. Hey, hello. You guys help me up. I'll help her over there. Here. Right yeah. down, you guys. Go. Okay, we're working on it. Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? Ladder! Oh. Yo, can you, you guys want to jump? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to. We'll catch you. Yeah. Up. Oh. Good, good. Hey, come out, and then I get, give me that one. Can you expand? Right. Yeah, you can expand up. Right? There you go. There you go. Alright. This is locked. There, there we go. go. Hold it, hold it. Hey, let's get it back a little bit farther. Later. Okay. Okay. okay, give me some lights. Where's the kid? Yep. Uh, hey, come down to me. <coughs> come on. Make sure you hold down to that. Uh, you want him? Which way you want him? Face the, down. Face the away. Face the away. Face the other way. Yep, the other way. Tell him to grab onto that. All right. <coughs> come on. Okay, toss it over. You coming? Yep, uh, that was up. Hey, grab onto that. Yep, yep, grab onto that, all right? Slowly come down. I got him, I got him, I got him. Yep, I got him. Anybody else in here? I don't know. 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 On my leg. Hey, put, put your legs on my legs. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Get down and then slowly. All right, slowly. Yep. Drop me. Yep. I'm not dropping you, dude. 
Hey, Come on. I gotta Come give on. you my weight. Yep, hey, yep. You don't have my weight. You don't have my weight. This one. Put it on there. Yep. Go down. Come on. Come on. Can you grab onto this one? Yep. Not to that one. Not to this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One hit on that one. Okay. All right, right, right. Ladder is right next to you. To the right. To the right. Yep. There you go. District one, that come. District one. We've got multiple reports of parties trapped in apartments. Apartment 201, two parties are trapped, as well as apartment 301, two parties are trapped as well. Multiple cars are now on fire as well. Back on District 1, confirming report of four parties trapped. In two separate apartments. Indy 19, I got you guys on scene, give you all in for rescue. Next on, Battalion 1. Battalion 1, go ahead. Battalion 1 on C-Reed, we've got a, uh, looks like three-story apartment complex, medium. We've got the, uh, heavy fire on the alpha side of the structure. Battalion one's going to read command on 5, working the offensive strategy. 16, let's get a line. Get the water immediately on this right now at two and a half. Uh, I pray I can go ahead and hit it. Let's go, Sam 2 on C. Sam 2, give me a uh, 360. Medic 16 on C. Sam 2, 360. Nightcom 5, West Metro, Agent Falls responding. Medic 16, assist injured 16, water on the fire. Command, West Metro, Track 14, stage, level 1, read. Track 14, come to the scene, all in, search. Track 14, proceeding into the scene, all in. You said for rescue, sir? A firm. Go. Reports of somebody trying to lower a child from apartment 301 on a blanket. Copy. 19th or 16th, whoever I've got on uh, doing a 360 with rescue, 301 child coming down on a blanket. Sorry, okay, man. I'm in 16. 16, go. We have one male victim. One child at 301. 19, I got you. 301, victim. Break my come, uh, command. Send me an additional, uh, three medic units. Additional three medic units. 119. Command engine 13, approaching a read. 13, come to the scene. This is 16, there's water on the fire. Copy, this is 16. Command safety power lines on the Delta side. You have gas meters on both Charlie, excuse me, both Alpha and uh, Delta sides. Copy, urgent, urgent, urgent. All companies uh, operating on scene. We've got power lines at Delta side. Power lines at Delta side. I'm going to have two Fano chips with me for your medic units if needed. Copy, and I've got one in my rig also. Break Sam, or uh, Safety 18, I got you. Assist Sam with uh, 360. Command Medic 13, on scene. Medic 13 is the scene. Um, 13, you're medical. Copy medical. Do you want us transporting, or do you want us to triage and get people out of here? Three, I see what we got, medic 13. Copy, I understand we got three medic units on the way in. Safe arm at this time, in addition to whatever we have on the first two arms. Break might come from uh, command, we got water on the fire. Copy, sir, do you want those three medics to seen? Stage them for now. Break the second line on the fire. Command, Sam, do I have? Three patients, two civilians, one police officer. As soon as you have a medic unit, they're in my ring. 
Copy. Medic 13, I am the same too. Where were those patients at? Sam Pew's rig. Twin to R18 approaching scene. Terry 18, if you can, come in from the south. Come straight up to the scene. Terry 18, copy us. Try to approach from the south. All units not on the scene, try to come in from the south. We have room on the, coming from the south. Tower 18 from command. If you can come uh, from the south and grab a water supply, come up by engine 16. Let's get your ladder ready. Go up. 13 cops additional. We're having to back up here, but we'll try to catch that plug, Chief. Urgent, urgent, urgent. All units from command. We're starting to have parts of the building come down. All units move out of the collapse zone. Force Metro engine 12 is approaching from the south. Hey, West Metro, just use MZ. Whatever West Metro District Chief is on scene, uh, gear up. I need uh, a division on the Alpha side. Kind of gear up for Alpha. Command in 19. 19, go. Reports from victims from 301 where they were the only ones in their unit. Back on from command, confirming 301, or is it 201 that we had reports of victim? 301 was the victim, or was the child being lowered by a blanket, sir? Copy. Any other reports that you received? 201 also had an adult male or juvenile male, sir. Copy. Break engine 19, 201. Command, safety 18. Safety 18, go. Three stories on the Charlie side, no basement. There is no egress on the Charlie side, and your utilities are secure. Three stories on the Charlie side, no basement. Two stories on the other side, utility is secure. Command Tower 18. Tower 18. We have a plug at the corner on the south. Did you already hook up to the one directly across from the structure? 16 has got a uh, plug that's off of Reed, Bravo side of the structure. That's the only plug I am aware of that we've got hit. If you guys can come up to the scene, I can have another uh, engine bring you water from there. Correcting copies. We have West Metro engine 12 near the plug. They can supply us if possible. Okay, from West Metro 12, bring water to 18's break. Engine 13 command. Go ahead, command. Let's get a hand line ready to be pulled as soon as we get the bulk of that fire knocked down. I want to get interior if we can and get some of these apartments searched. We have a pretty weak structure over this stairwell right here. If we can do some DEIS in these units going in on either side, I think it would be beneficial. It's pretty well burned out. Copy. I'm going to put you in charge of that. Let's figure out where we need to get to get these apartments searched. There's a few things that residents can do wherever they live, whether it's in a single family home or a condo or an apartment building, to make sure that they're well prepared in case a fire happens. Obviously having working smoke alarms is very important. The other really important thing is to close before you doze, which means you need to close your bedroom doors when you go to sleep at night, and that helps prevent the spread of heat and smoke from a fire to spreading where you're asleep. 
The other really important thing is to know two exits, two different ways out of your home, and have a plan on what you're going to do if either one of those exits is cut off. And in the case of this apartment fire, as you'll see from the video, the stairwell, which leads to the front door of all of the apartments, was completely engulfed in flames and there was no way for those people to escape. So having in your mind a backup plan of a window or a back door or another way that you can escape is vital to your own survival and we encourage you to identify that today. As 2019 wraps up, so is season one of our vlog. But luckily we are going into 2020 and that is going to start off season two and we are so excited for everything that's ahead. We will continue to bring you vlogs, we will continue to bring you Fleet Fridays and we welcome your suggestions about apparatus. And we're adding a new video series called The Day in the Life where we will follow someone at South Metro through their daily job and show you up close and personal what they do and how you can get their job too. It's that time for our favorite time of the week and uh, our that last is. patch shout outs of 2019. <laughs> so thank you for sending these to us. I'll start off. I've got Helena Alabama Explorers. That's not focusing very well. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, bit. No. Uh, no. I get the idea. <laughs> I've got FDNY New York State Emergency Medical Technician. Pretty cool. And then I've got two from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I've got the yellow outline version and the red outline version. Um, there's probably a difference mm -hmm. on what that represents and I don't know what that is, but <laughs> someone out there knows what it is and maybe they can comment and tell us what that means. You bet. Yeah. Okay, we've got a few more. So these are from Manchester Volunteer Fire Company number one, looks like station 32. That's from New Jersey. It's actually pretty neat. These, This one as well as TVFC station 61 or 6-1 in New Jersey. Uh, I connected with someone at our most recent Academy graduation and he shared those with us, so thank you. Yeah. We also have Bicknell, Indiana Fire Department and Manchester, Connecticut Fire Department. Thank you guys so much for trading with us. That's awesome. And we have one minute of battery time left on this camera, <laughs> oh no. so this is a perfect Talk time for us to sign off. <laughs> We're really excited to see you guys back in 2020 and thanks for everything that you did for us and with us uh, during 2019. It's been great. See you guys next year. Later.